Hey guys, welcome back to Central City Barbecue. I'm Pit Master James Cruz, and in this week's video, I'm doing IKEA meatballs. And if you've ever been to the IKEA furniture store, you know what I'm talking about. I'm doing them Central City style, which means I'm cooking them on that M that M Grills M16 back there. I'm ready to get started. Let's go. This is actually a pretty easy recipe. You now, the first thing you want to do is grab two slices of white bread. Take the uh, crust off the edge. So all I'm going to do is cube these guys up. But instead of you sitting here watching me cube bread, why don't you reach down and hit that subscribe button so you can actually be notified of more of these videos, bad jokes, maybe some good food. Either way, like I said, it's that little button down there. It's called subscribe. Hit that notification bell. You don't want to miss out on this. <clears throat> so what I'm doing here is I'm cutting little cubes, okay? Throw these in my pan, my, my pan, my bowl. After that, I had one small onion that I grated up. If you look really closely, there's a lot of liquid inside there. That's actually key, because what that's gonna do is that's actually gonna give us a nice, soft, fluffy meatball. You don't want that. Dump all that in there. It's one small onion, or about a cup of grated uh, onion. We wanna mix that together really, really good. Get all those uh, chunks of bread all blended in really, really nicely with the meat. I'll show you what that looks like in a second. It's actually really wet looking. You see that right there? All right. After that, what I want to do now is I've got 12 ounces of, since we're a barbecue restaurant, I've got 12 ounces of brown brisket. You can also do 12 ounces of brown chuck, brown beef. You just you still want something in that 80, 20, 75, 25 mix. And I also have 12 ounces of ground pork. Put them all together. Let's add those to the, bun, to the bowl. All right. After that, I've got one egg scrambled. Let's add that. I've got a half of a teaspoon of nutmeg. Let's add that to the bowl. Let's see. A half a teaspoon of allspice. Let's get that in there. A teaspoon of ground black pepper. Half of a tablespoon of kosher salt. And then I have a half of a teaspoon of garlic powder. All right. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna mix this all together and get it well incorporated. I don't wanna see any distinctive colors of one ingredient or the other. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up. I'll be right back. All right, so now that I have that all mixed up, take a look at that right there. It's actually well blended. You don't see any distinct ingredients in there. I'm gonna grab like a little portion scoop here. It's about the size of, uh, that you want for a meatball. All we're gonna do is take a scoop out, put it on here. Take it out. I'm gonna scoop these out and we're gonna roll them. Okay, so that made about 17 and a half decent sized meatballs. Now what I'm gonna do is I just wanna roll them up. In a nice even ball, nothing crazy. They're real, actually really soft and heavy. You see that right there? That's about the size you're looking for. That's about the shape you're looking for. I'm gonna roll all these guys up. I'm gonna put them in the cooler for about an hour, then I'll meet you at the grill. All right guys, it's been an hour. I'm gonna get the skillet hot. I'm gonna go grab those meatballs out of the refrigerator and come back and brown them. All right, got the meatballs out of the cooler. Put a little oil in a pan too to kind of get it going. Woo! Watch yourself, James. I'm gonna add all these meatballs to the pan. I'm gonna brown them all and I'll be right back. All right guys, now that I've got two color on, they're all brown, I'm gonna remove them. All I wanted to do is just brown them. I'm not fully cooking them because I'm gonna fully cook them later on in the sauce. Let's take them all out for a second. Next thing I wanna do, I wanna get rid of all this excess grease. You can save it later, you can cook with it. But I just wanna get it out of there. All right, I don't mind leaving some of the bits in there, it's gonna add flavor. So what we're gonna do now is, I actually wanna start with a blonde roux. So let's go with a quarter cup of butter. Let's get that out of, out of there. Get that melting. Next thing I wanna add is a quarter cup of flour, all-purpose flour. But just like any of the other roux videos, keep it moving. See, it started to thicken up a little bit, and I want kind of a peanut butter color. See that right there? It's getting close. Those brown bits, by the way, that's not burnt roux. That's actually some of the bits from the meatballs, so that's actually a good thing. Next thing is two cups of uh, beef broth, but only add a little bit at a time. Put your a whisk on this one. You see it started to thicken up, so let's add a little more. So 
So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna close the lid. I'm gonna let this thing heat up. I'm gonna get back to simmer and thicken up a little bit. Okay, now the sauce is thickened up a little bit. I'm gonna add the meatballs back to it. And the meatballs are gonna render out a little bit more liquid. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to take these meatballs to about 155 degrees internal. All right, guys, I'm gonna let these guys cook for about two minutes. <clears throat> I'll come right back. All right, guys, they've been simmering for about five minutes. Now I'm gonna add about half a cup of heavy cream. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna add some body to it. And as I move these meatballs around, it's gonna stir that heavy cream in. And after that simmers for a few minutes, we're gonna do a taste on it because that heavy cream is gonna kind of lighten it up a little bit. I used uh, salted beef broth, but I still wanna check where the salt and pepper is. I'll be back in a little bit. All right, guys, how pretty these things look. I just want to dip some bread in it. So, just tasted it. Even though I use a salted beef broth, I'm going to just add a pinch of salt over the top. Not much. Add about two pinches of black pepper over the top. One, two. Let me flip these around real quick and I'll meet you at the table to serve them. Alright, guys, that was pretty fun. It was actually really easy, too. I'm ready to plate these things up. I mean, who doesn't love a little meat and gravy? So, all I'm going to do is I'm going to serve some up. Big old bowl right here. Plate these guys up. You can serve these over some egg noodles, some uh, mashed potatoes, on a sandwich. It's up to you, or you eat a plan, serve them at a party. These things are great. Now they gotta clean them up, clean it up. The parts put a little green on you over the top. A little color, a little bite. Man, I'm gonna tell you something right now. Put these over some pasta. Favorite part now. Now it's time to dig in. Look at this right here. They are so tender. I'm not gonna put the whole thing up. I'm gonna show you something. Look at this. Just gonna barely cut through the core. Look at that. That is it's so soft and tender. Oh crap. I feel why these things are so freaking good. All right, guys, I can see why this, this recipe was one of the most popular in all of 2020 when Ikea knows what they're doing. All I did was I used some ground brisket, which you guys can use some ground beef, some ground pork, gave you a list of the seasonings, rolled them around in a ball, chilled them for a little bit, ground them with the end rolls of 16 back there, pulled them off, man, made a Swedish meatball gravy, tossed them around. Dude, who doesn't love gravy and meatballs? Hey, guys, I appreciate the support. You guys have been phenomenal. I look forward to these every week. Follow the restaurant on social media on Facebook and Instagram. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I'll answer any questions you guys have. See you guys next week.